Hello YouTube world, thank you for stopping by again. So, we've already gone through the docs, now it's going to be the uh, Google Sheets. It's pretty much, if you're coming from the uh, Microsoft Office product suites there, it's it's similar to uh, G Suite, or excuse me. <laughs> All this software and it just gets tangled up in the head. No, it's similar to Excel, and so uh, it, it's pretty much uh, for your analysis, numerical analysis, what have you, budgets, uh, financing, timesheet, as you see right here. Uh, I'm already logged in, Google, uh, the Google Sheets. If you haven't logged in yet, go ahead and go to gsuits.google.com. Uh, you can log in there. Of course, you're going to have to have your uh, free trial. And uh, just, just log into the G Suites. If you log in anywhere else in the G Suite, uh, you can you see this in the top right corner. There's uh, nine boxes here, a little, little box there. You select that, and your sheets should be the second row in the middle. In the middle column there that's to be the Google Sheets click on that and it'll bring it to you Google Sheets once you're logged in of course like I said you can go to gmail.com log into Gmail and just to hit that button right there and it'll get to the sheets now we're not gonna do a we're not gonna go off the template gallery here that we have uh, my business doesn't have any uh, examples any templates to go off of Google does offer their own uh, templates to start off but I have something here I think should be beneficial uh, for anyone, especially if they're starting a business. Of course, you have to have a, a budget, and why not start with a, a personal budget? So here's the data that I came up with. Personal budget worksheet data, uh, your wages, your dividends, rent, food, tuition, etc. And now there's a sketch. This is recommended uh, for anything that you do. If, you, if, you, if you're working on the Google Sheets here, go ahead and, and Make sure you have your data that you need. Write it down. Just write down what that data is. Uh, and also the sketch that I have here at the bottom. I'm in Docs right now. And I've created all this within Docs. Of course, if you don't remember from the Docs video, if you want to do a, a what I did there, an image, or not an image. Hold on. You go to Insert, the Drawing. So I'm in Docs, Insert, and Drawing. It's going to take me into here, and I can draw a sketch of how I want the how I want the G Suite sheets to look. And we have our income, January, December total, wages, dividend, total expenses, rent, food, and you can tell right here I messed up a little bit on the horizontal bar. That's fine. This is just a rough sketch. Okay, it's nothing too serious. We're, we're gonna get these numbers down. So let's go ahead and start then. As you can see the, the first header I have is income, January to December, and then total. So let's start that now. Let's go ahead and create a new blank Google Sheet. And the first thing I said was income. And that's pretty much it, it's to get yourself familiarized with G Suites. It's not going to be able to, it's not going to go through all G, uh, Google Sheets. Uh, but it does even get familiar. So let's go ahead in January. Of course, just like in Excel, uh, you click on the, the cell, the bottom right, you can click and hold and drag all the way until you get December, one more, December. And at the end here, total. All right, and then we have wages. Is that what it's called here? wages and dividends and of course these wages are monthly and we're expecting not to get a raise this year so 2250 2200 drag all that down here boom and then the dividend 2525 And that's only going to be January and September. Okay. We're done with that. And of course, we get our total. And before we do any of the uh, functions, what have you, let's continue with the expenses. And instead of doing the January, I'm just going to highlight all the months here. Command C, or if you're a PC, Control P, or Control C, and then C 
select the first cell of the whatever you're going to copy in there and Control V or Command V if you're using the Mac. And what I did was hover over all the months there, Control C, select the first cell that is going to, uh, where you're going to paste in, Control V, Command V. And that brings it in. And of course, your total. And of course, our expenses. We have all these expenses. I'm just going to go ahead and copy. Command V, or Command C, and then Command V. So I have that there. Actually, if I wanted to, Command P in there and just for erasing it, let's just go ahead and put it in there. This is monthly, so 650 is in January. Of course, you see how the, the fields are, are kind of, uh, or they are overlapping there. Control the first column, or hover, select the first column, and then hover over to the right side until you see that arrow over there, and double click. That's going to fill it in for you. That's going to expand it so it can be all set in one cell, as opposed to overlapping. So the 650 is monthly. Let's go ahead and hold on to it, hover over it all the way to the very uh, December last month. And I'm going to go ahead and take off that data there. Next one's 400. That is monthly because you can only survive up to a week without food. So, yep, that is going to be monthly cost. Tuition is going to be January and August. Since those are the months when the school starts again. And 600 as well for those same months, August and January. For books, uh, I've taken care of that. Let's go ahead and erase that data. We don't need that anymore. I have it in the docs there if I ever want to look back at it. Entertainment is 150 a month. That's if you want to go out. You know, this is my personal uh, what, what I have here. Of course, you can have different numbers. You can have different categories uh, for that matter. So just get the numbers that you need to insert. So Excel, excuse me, please Google don't get mad at me. Uh, Google Sheets uh, is very powerful. It'd be very powerful for you. It can, it's a handy tool. Uh, but if you have if you don't have any numbers for the for the for the actual software, it's not gonna spit out anything for you. If you if you want to budget, okay, you can't just create a, a spreadsheet and name it budget and hope to have your numbers that are filled already for you. We're not there yet. We're not we're at that we're not at the point where you just read dots, okay? So gas is gonna be a hundred dollars a month. And then miscellaneous, $100 a month. All right, so we're done with that. And now since the, the columns are back, I'm going to highlight all of the columns here. And double click on that first column there, and everything gets compressed. See that? I'm actually going to widen. Now, I don't know if you noticed that. I try to widen the column in because since all the columns are highlighted, it's going to do that to all of them. It's going to resize all of them. So let me just go ahead and. Okay, now let's get these figures. Uh, let's do the total first. So I'm going to do select the cell B4 and hit the E. After selected, hit equal and then sum, S U M. Enter it or uh, click on it and then hover over the first cell that you want to add and then the second cell. And of course, something's in my way, so I'm going to do colon B3 and that's going to select it for me. Of course, select the, the, the cell that has the specified function, bottom right there, click on it, hold on to it all the way to the bottom. All the way to the very end there. Okay. And now for this one here, um, the column total, or the total column, excuse me, equal sum as well. It's going to be, and I'll select that first column and then shift and select the last cell, last column. And as you can see, it will set that for you as B2, B2 colon M2. And then close that parentheses. 
hit enter that's going to do that for you and of course drag it down to the bottom there we go all right <clears throat> do the same thing here i forgot to actually get the total for my expenses and need the net of all of it so for the total of the expenses it's going to be column B7 all the way down to B14 for uh, the month of January and then select the cell again right click or left click the right bottom there and drag it all the way to December go there and of course net we're gonna do equal sum this is a little bit different here we're gonna select the total cell for January of 4700 and then we're going to hit command, uh, which is this is control for for uh, PC. We're going to hit the B15 cell, which is the total for expenses. Command and then select. Ah, hold on. It's actually minus, not some. Minus the total, the income total. And then command select the expense total close the parentheses and you see it, it's not it's not a colon it's actually a comma because these are two individual cells it's not uh, sequential there so I'm gonna copy that for all the net there looks like I'm making pretty good progress here it's a it's a net for most months except for August it's pretty good and now, the sum total for each individual row, which I'm going to just type it out here, it's B7 for rent, all the way to M, M7, just in the same row. And it actually does the dash here for you, the orange dashes of all everything you're going to select. So let me just show you, I'll do E7, and only cuts out or pre-cuts uh, the, the rows that, or the column in the row. That I want to select, but I want to select all of them, so I'm do M7, parentheses closed, enter. Okay, and then I'm gonna do that throughout the rest of it. And of course, here I don't want them empty, so I'm going to do a Z zero for it, and then zero for as well. Okay. And of course these numbers, now we're going to go into the formatting. Before we start formatting, let's go ahead and give this spreadsheet a name, the uh, sheet a name. I'm going to call it Personal Budget. Budgeting. I'm just going to call it Personal Budget. Alright, and now... Go ahead and format this. We'll start off with the columns. I'm going to uh, select income and then hold on to the mouse. Don't let go of the mouse the selection. Hover over the months and the total column. And then I'm going to hit command and select not the uh, select total command for the income and the total for the expenses just the title just the labels and then net select that and here in the toolbar here remember we can hide this just like the, in the last video in docs on the top right hides the menu shows the menu and I'm gonna hide it for now so <clears throat> I'm gonna select the fonts Roboto put bold on there and it's gonna be size 14 Size 14. As you can see, the columns do need to get resized here as well. Again, and I can select anywhere here as long as that arrow goes on the mouse clicker there, as long as it presents itself. And then, here we are. All right. And now let's worry about the the total, the total rule for each expense and income. Remember, command. 
and then you can select and drag again command select and drag here and also the uh, the, the total column itself make sure to select that Want to uh, bold put bold on that also bring back the menu here if I hit format and then number, hover over number, and then hover over accounting and select accounting, actually select it, it's going to bring those numbers on. And that's very professional there. I like, I like that. For accounting purposes, that is done. So, all right, we have our totals bold with the accounting format. And I'm actually missing the bold for my expenses January February labels so what I can do here is hover over the entire label or not even I can just hover over one or I can select one copy now if you try to copy with right clicking and try to copy this is what happens in Google they don't like that they like you to use the keys so command C or control C if your PC um, select the, uh, the the format cell that I want to copy command C and then hover over everything that you want, every cell you want to have the same format, and then right click. There's a paste special selection there, and then it says paste formats only. And that pastes the format for you, so it's awesome. All right, now the, the data in the middle here for the expenses and some income, the individual months. I'm going to format that as numbers, right? And I want them to have two decimal places, which they do all except for the uh, zeros. I don't want them to have two decimal places. I want them to have one decimal place. And that's actually the bad. That's actually a bad way to how to format that uh, because. If this was ever to change, if it was two thousand, if it was just say you know fifteen cents, you won't see the fifteen cents because it's going to be you know taken away. There's an actual format that will just show if it's a zero, it'll show a minus sign. And if, if I remember correctly, let's see here, it's accounting. So the accounting has that that minus sign. But however, I don't I don't like the uh, dollar signs within the the uh, individual monthly values. I only like it for the total nets columns and rows so we'll just leave it at that I oh, we're fine here I think it's coming along it's coming along great here let me go ahead and it's not looking as the the sketch that we provide here it's almost there we do have this title here uh, personal budget worksheet and expenses chart and we have to do the chart so let, let's go ahead and select the column here right click insert one left column on the side okay and then let's go ahead and insert two rows above two rows above the the actual uh, the actual information there and of course I am resizing the first column I want to do that so I can give it a border here but now let's go ahead and put personal budget worksheet I'm not gonna well with I want to do a uh, what kind of chart was it pie chart Expenses chart. All right. Of course, you can merge the cells here. Right here, merge cells. Select all the cells you want to merge. Of course, it has to be the row itself. If if you do the row and then an additional row, it just have to be. It can only merge the columns in the same row. If you decide to merge all the columns in, in different rows, the the topmost column, the topmost leftmost column, uh, will will have a precedence over everything. So that that would be the one that, that takes 
takes over the the actual uh, data there. So let me just show you an example here. Let's go ahead. I'm trying to merge these cells. All right, I merge the cells. Up, oh, merge cells. It actually tells you merging cells will only preserve the top leftmost value. Merge anyway. Okay, and 150 stays. So Command Z to redo that, and that's what happens when you add additional rows when you're trying to merge. Now, let's just merge that and center it. And I really don't like the uh, yeah. There we go. Okay, that's a bit better, and of course. If I was to merge the columns now, now I don't have that problem. All right. It's looking good. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do the, the border. Let's do a border here. I'm going to hover over all the data, and if you look, of course, let me hide the, the menu, the toolbar here, there's a borders selection, and I want to have, I want to change the actual, <clears throat> I just want to work on the outside borders first, and I want to give the darkest border line, and there's a box for the border there, that's what I want to do, <clears throat> I want to give it a full box. Now I'm going to change the uh, the thickness of of the lines, the actual borders. So I can go inside here. Inside, I want to do the horizontal, of course. And then I don't want to go do that. I'm going to select column B here, just within that, because I want to give it the right side border. If you look at it now, it's not. There's no. There's no. There's no line on the right side there so uh, select that and then I'll put the right line right there and of course on, on the total I'm gonna do that as well but for the left side left side alright for some reason it doesn't appear to be the there we go. There goes the darkest. Okay. All right. Expenses total. Now give the total uh, top face of the border. I'll give a dash line or a double, double line there, so we can know that's the total. Maybe even the bottom as well. I'll give that a total. And what I'm doing there, as I mentioned, just go to the borders, border style, up there. And it's going to be the top. Because I actually selected the total, and I want the top to be a double line there. I don't, I don't want the net to have the double line. So I'm just going to border style, uh, single line, and then it's going to be the top of the border, of the regular line. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, it looks pretty good to me. I think another thing, and now we're just getting a little bit too uh, picky here, but I want to format that total to the right side, the, just the, just the, yeah, just to check itself on the left side. Actually, I want, I want all this. I want this entire column to be on the left side here. All right. And then, of course, I want the, uh, the labels of the months to be in the center. Okay, and then the, the income, total expenses, total net on the left side to be on the left side. 
and they are. Actually, this entire column. Which they are. But just to be safe. Just to be safe. And I guess the numbers as well. I guess the numbers, I'll put them in the center. No. No center. I'll keep them right. I'll keep them to the right side. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, those are the numbers. And we're good. So we have expenses, income, and it looks like we're going to be netting 7302 if all is uh, goes as planned. So 7302 definitely recommend finding out what you want to do with that money. Because if, if you don't find out, it's just, it's just dead money. It's just sitting there not working for you. So let's go ahead and go with the charts now. Let's enter the chart here in the center. Just select anywhere that there's no data. So it doesn't overwrite it. And then we're going to uh, show the show the menu again. And then insert. And we're going to select the image. Or excuse me, chart. And I want to do a pie chart. So I just set it anywhere here. Try to set it in the, try to set it in the middle here. All right. And we are going to do a column chart. The date range. Okay. We're not doing a stack column, we're doing a pie chart. So chart type we have, and then drop down, I'm doing a donut chart. And it requires at least two columns, but only once provided. Let's go ahead and give them that data that they want. Uh, what's, the, what's the label? First, let's start with the label. The label is going to be expenses because these are expenses. So I select rent and then shift miscellaneous. It does it for you here. Sheet one, B9. All right. So it's B9 colon B16. Why is it not? Huh. Let's enter the data first. Where's the data? Uh, we're going to do the total. We're going to do the total. Okay, so we have the 7,800 to 1,200. The total uh, for each individual of the year, for each individual expense. Here we go. And now we're going to do the labels. Now we can do the labels, which is B9, B16. So first I have to add values, and then I can add the labels. All right. And then now we can customize this. We have everything there. The rent takes up. It's actually a, a mortgage here. It's not even rent for me. Uh, mortgage. Put mortgage. I guess I put the whole thing here. If I can spell, let's just go ahead and put mortgage. All right. I just had to. So that okay, that is. Yeah, I guess so. I'll, I'll name it mortgage. I have a mortgage, but I don't know how to spell mortgage. That's <laughs> ironic. <laughs> All right. So uh, double click on that there since I wasn't selected anymore. And also, actually, before you even double click, hover over, select, and there's three dots here stacked on top of each other there. Select that. You can edit. You can edit the chart. You can delete the chart. You can publish the chart. Let's edit the chart. All right. And we can customize. I want the chart style. Um, I kind of like it in 3D. So select 3D, select maximize, it zooms in there. Uh, I'm gonna keep the uh, I'll keep the font the same. If you want a different fonts, you can change it. But I'm gonna take I'm gonna keep the Roboto and background color. I like the white. White's fine. Pie chart. Okay, look. If you want zero hole, it's not a pie chart. It's not a donut hole anymore. It's not a donut chart. 25% little smaller holes, 75 bigger, and of course I'm gonna stick to the 50 the middle ground. And then each label, you can give it the what the actual category: mortgage, food, tuition, books, 
entertainment, car note, gas, miscellaneous. You can give it the percentage, how much percentage it takes compared to uh, your overall expenses for the year. You can give it the value and the percentage. Apparently it's too much, so it doesn't put it on there. What I'm going to do here is actually put the value, so the dollar amount, because I have what the category is, which is mortgage. I have the percentages here on the side. I actually want the, the actual the number here, $7,800. So once I pay off this house, I'll be pocketing $7,800. So I need to get that done ASAP. And of course, the labels, if you want none. To get none, and you try to hover over it, you still see your stats. So just a little FYI. You can also double click on that and bring that in. And let's go ahead and give it, I said value, right? Yeah, let's do the value. I like the value because it actually gives you the, the, the main ones, the ones that are pretty much the most. I'm surprised it doesn't have the car note there. They're too small to put in. Chart title. We'll give it the chart title. I'll do a annual expenses. And of course, format it to the center there. I like the Roboto. Font size, I'll keep it as auto. And the legend is fine. Yeah, so we have the pie chart. Of course, if I want to change the, the chart style, one thing I would like to, uh, to let you all know here is the chart type. You already have the data. The data is already selected. So if I put, you know, that or line chart, or if I put you know, another one right there, of course it's going to be, it, it, it's the, in real life the cost does increase, right? Gas would be a, a variable there. Uh, so you will see the little lines in line, but right now they're all constant. So a better way here would be the columns, the columns themselves, or possibly even the bar. I like the bar one. But the visual may change, but the data doesn't. So the numbers will still be good. And of course, we have the spot, scatter plot. It's not going to really do us any good. So make sure you're choosing the right chart. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and just stick with the donut. Of course, everything changed here. Let me put it back to the 3D, as I mentioned. And matter of fact, this is a 3D. This is not the. Now we have to do Command Z, everybody. All right, let's see. There we go. All right, we're back at it. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's it. And looks like I did a little hiccup on me. You see that? It's actually the first time I've seen Google Sheets mess up. So, you witnessed it. Even Google fails at times. Right. But that's our chart. So we have our, our personal budget sheet with expenses chart. Uh, you know, feel free to, to take this and, and you know, modify it, add, add to it. You know, do make it for yourself. You know, actually get the numbers. Actually find out how much uh, does rent cost. Actually find out how much you're spending in food and put it on here. Uh, you know, we're coming up to 2018 pretty soon. We have two months left. Uh, make yourself an annual budget and see if you keep with it. So you can. You can do this, right? You can, you can actually build upon this more. This would be your, uh, uh, what your, what your planning to spend, right? And then you can have another chart of what you're actually spending, and then you can combine those sheets. You can add, you can actually add additional sheets here. So I can actually rename this sheet right here. Right click on this tab in the bottom of the Google Sheet. Right click, rename, and I'll put, you know, 2017 budget and for 2018 right I, I hit that plus sign add sheet maybe 2018 right and then you can go ahead and uh, put your your expectant what you expect to spend what you expect to make and then of course you can do another chart of what you're actually doing and then create another sheet that collects both that information and you can you can do a line chart and see okay are we passing up what we expected we're gonna spend are we are we meeting 
our budget expectations are we going uh, too too much over etc you know take charge of your financial future so Google Sheets will allow you to do that you just need to get the numbers all right so that's gonna be it here at my business I really hope uh, they are taking advantage of what G Suite has to offer uh, now the more time than ever it's 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 a great time to start a business and you have the tools here to help you succeed so use the tools it's only five dollars per month it's, it's at sixty dollars a year the amount of productivity that can increase while by using these tools it, it's well worth the money so uh, thank you for stopping by and hope to see you on the next videos